Hello again, everyone. I'm Lee Berger, and today, or actually tonight, as you see, the sun is setting behind me, um, I'm going to talk about something that I frequently get asked about, whether it's in emails, after lectures, or whether it's whenever I post videos. Uh, it has to do with something that probably would surprise people who are outside of paleoanthropology. It has to do with whether there were ever giants, real giants in the past. Um, why do I particularly get asked that? It's because I worked on some uh, research in the 90s that talked about very large fossils that were discovered here in southern Africa. Some I discovered myself and others were discovered many years before. But of course there are things like Neanderthals and, and there are even uh, fossil primates like Gigantopithecus which are thought to be uh, relatively large. And all of those tend to lead people to say well either there were giants in the past um, or they want to believe that there were giants in the past. Now why does this exist? Well, it exists because almost every culture, and I really do mean every culture with a uh, written history and many with just oral traditions, uh, have stories of giants, giant uh, people that lived a long time ago. Uh, in sort of the ones mo people are most familiar with are things like uh, the Book of Giants in, in, in Judaism, which is really just a sort of explanation uh, like Enoch does of the book of Genesis and speaking of things like Nephilim in the pre-Diluvian uh, or, or pre-flood uh, period. But other cultures have had these too. Of course, the uh, Greeks had your Titans and your Olympians all speaking uh, to giant people. And almost everywhere you look at ancient texts and sometimes even ancient drawings, you see uh, the idea that there were once, once giants among us. So it's a question, I think, that's got more validity than many people give. Often scientists ridicule people for asking it. So I'm going to take a look at some of those examples of giants and see whether there's first scientific evidence for giants um, in the past and then look at also uh, some of the uh, sort of memes that go around. Many of you probably have had your inbox flooded with pictures of giants being excavated by scientists and other arguments about giants in the past to see whether there's a conclusion. So the first part is actually pretty easy. Um, there of course have been very very large people that have lived in the past. Um, however, there's no real evidence in the skeletal record of modern humans that humans in the past have exceeded the tallest people that live today. Of course, people uh, do get over seven foot tall, some seven and a half foot tall. The tallest humans have lived are even taller than that. Um, it's not uncommon for there to be very, very tall people. All of the skeletal evidence that we have from the archaeological record of modern humans speaks to people, uh, the tallest people we find. Uh, being in that same sort of height, height range. Um, they are extremely rare. Uh, you don't get any clusterings of communities that are gigantic uh, any more than you would see in living populations. So the answer about uh, the sort of archaeological record of humans uh, is that, that there's no evidence of, of giants that exist within human. Uh, culture. Uh, in the deeper past, we can look at things like the Bergalkos femur, which I've discussed before, uh, a gigantic femur, uh, but again, would have it only been of an individual who, uh, if the height to stature ratio is correct that we're reconstructing, would have only exceeded sort of seven feet. So again, not so outside of modern human uh, uh, sort of variation. And things like Neanderthals, where they have very, very large bones, are known to actually be relatively short and stocky. So they're not giants either. So even in the, uh, the paleontological past, if we go to other species of human relatives, um, we've yet to find any true giants, nothing larger than would exceed um, sort of modern human variation of very, very large people. Um, then we look at some of the primates, things like Gigantopithecus. This is one that is often brought forward, the idea that, that there were uh, giant primates. It might have been 
say, really huge, maybe 10 feet, 11 feet tall. Um, the fact is, though, that we really don't have bodies for these, so we don't know how big they are. But uh, even if so, that you are looking at a, pro a variation just slightly uh, uh, beyond gorillas, uh, if they are, in fact, that big. But again, we don't have any skeletal evidence to say that. But remember, Gigantopithecus are not hominids, we don't think. Uh, they are just an ape species that largely lived in uh, Southeast Asia and Asia and have now gone extinct. So there are really no, while it's a very big primate, it, uh, if the size reconstruction is based on the jaws and dentition uh, about its body size are correct, um, it, and it would be a giant primate relative to living primates, um, it's not extraordinary. It could some of the uh, sort of stories of things like Bigfoot and other uh, um, creatures like that have come from Gigantopithecus. It's possible. Uh, many cryptic species, many species could have come a lot closer to us in time than we thought. A species that I've studied and was part of Discovery Homo naledi, in fact, um, uh, came a lot closer in time for a species like that uh, we didn't and it would be possible that if they if animals like that and re human relatives and primates like that live down into the sort of oral distance of of traditions that they may speak to those and perhaps that's possibly where uh, some ideas of the history of giants in, in human mythology come but but there's no evidence for that right now and we do need to do more exploration and look and see whether first we can confirm whether things like Gigantopithecus are in their bodies as big as uh, we hypothesize they are and then also more exploration to see whether some of these species could come down in time but for the time being there's no evidence of of fossil giants out there at all. So all those memes you see, all those uh, pictures of giants being excavated by people like me and others from around the world, they're all fakes. All you have to do is look closely to see that most of them aren't even a very good uh, uh, act of Photoshop uh, when they do it. So those are all fakes. So from the scientific perspective, we do have perhaps very big primates in the past, but they wouldn't have been humans. There's no evidence whatsoever of any humans or near-human relative uh, attaining anything beyond what we would expect from uh, the normal range of living humans at their tallest, uh, although we do have some that are very big, like the berg alcos femur. The things you're seeing on the internet um, that are claiming that people are digging up giants or that we scientists are hiding giant remains or that giant remains were covered and somehow lost, well, that's all just mythology. It's made up. So I hope that clarifies a little bit uh, from the scientific standpoint and from this, what you see on the internet that we have not discovered giants yet within the human lineage. Um, of course, like everything, uh, we must keep exploring. There are great mysteries out there. I mentioned Homo naledi, a, a species out of time and place. But for now, the evidence says no giants. That's all for now. I hope you keep watching the videos, and we'll keep trying to update our explorations and adventures as we explore human origins here in Africa.